nakuambia about false prophets and apostates. And on this one, today I'm talking about what God has uh, given me, Apostle Joshua Selmana, or Joshua Selman. Very sadly is that we are prophets, servants of God who began well, but they're finishing badly. He began well, running the race well, but he reached a point that I don't recommend any Christian who wants to go to heaven to listen to him. Christian by on Daka Kuna Binguni Kweli Achana Nakusikiliza Mahubiriza Joshua Salman. Stop it immediately. Something about him. And uh, something about Joshua Salman is that his teachings are now tending towards apostasy. His teachings now tended towards apostasy. So, Joshua Selman. And uh, I believe he's Nigerian. So you must, uh, I'm exposing Joshua Salmana and uh, his, apost his, um, his apostate as well as fallen doctrine on the angels. Fallen doctrine on angels. Unfortunately, most of Kenyans <laughs> You have been beneficiaries of uh, the teachings of Joshua Selman. Personally, I don't hear him. But in my counseling, I've counseled a lot of people and I've done deliverance prayers for many people. Some years back, once or twice, when I heard this, the way, I mean, when I I heard someone send me a clip about him. I couldn't finish listening. God stopped me. Mungu alinzulia kusikiza. Ilikuwa ni litumwa itumiwa kanda some years back. I don't know it was last year but one but one. I couldn't listen because I didn't even know who he is. I've not been uh, but I believe he's Nigerian. I only for the two minutes I heard his voice God stopped me. And that's how God stopped me from listening to any preacher. And uh, for a long time, those are several years, I've not spoken anything about him. Until lately, when God now will have me talk about him. Maubiriyake ikonachachu, his doctrine has been corrupted. His teachings are corrupted. Any teachings or any preachings that do not tend to disposition you towards Christ and becoming a better Christian for heaven, becoming a heaven-bound Christian, those teachings are dangerous. They are not godly. So after counseling with many people, some of them I counsel with them, spiritual matters in the nation, others across the nation, other, other nations, I cancel them on phone. And I'll ask God about what this, they tell me, and some of them will give send me quotation. I read the book of Enoch and uh, Apostle Seman was saying this about the book of Enoch. And today many Christians are reading the book of Enoch And they don't know that they are in error. So now you come I pity you to be married because between Jesus and people on the road, who is important? 
Because I love you. If you go out, you stay out. <laughs> Don't come in when I teach. Because I'm distracted. The book of Enoch is not inspired by the Holy Ghost. The book of Enoch is not inspired by the Holy Spirit. It is not an evil book. However, the book of Enoch served its purpose in the, in the first world before the deluge. The book of Enoch served its usefulness, its significance in the world that was there before. Remember that that world was destroyed by the large, and that reminds us of the ark and Noah the evangelist. The floods destroyed that generation of mankind. All of it, with the exception of Noah and his eight uh, and his sons and their wives. There were eight. They were preserved in the ark. God preserved. Before the Lord Jehovah God judged the world with floods, there was a Bible. It was the book. Actually, the book of uh, Enoch was a prophetic judgment that God sent as a warning day I'm sent before he destroyed mankind. So Enoch was sent. So actually, the book of Enoch is actually the prophetic judgment warning of the prophetic warning that God gave one Enoch to warn the mankind they repent lest he judges them. So because man refused repentance, they did not repent. They were destroyed. The book of Enoch contains a lot about fallen angels. Kitabu cha Enoko inazunguzia malaika wale ambao walioa wanawake duniani. Malaika wale ambao waliasi. Malaika ambao walikuwa wana wameaminiwa na waka wana tamaa malaika ambao waliingia na tamaa maana malaika hawaoi. Malaika ni viumba ambavyo hawaruhusiwi kuoa. Lakini Maleka hawa ni maleka wale ambao juda anawazungumuzia katika juda moja mtari wa sita. So jude verse number six. Marika sema ni maleka ambao waliacha enzi yao. Wakasaliti mungu katika majukumo yao. Waliacha mbuito. Sehemu zao za huduma ambao waliwekwa waliacha. Wakavutiwa na hulka za ibilisi. Wakavutiwa na urembo wa wanawake duniani. Wakashuka, wakalala na wao. So these are angels that abandon their place of ministry. They abandon their assignment. These are angels that abandon their, their first estate. The ministry that God assigned them. Now these angels, remember they were they are, they are watchers. These angels are watchers in the realm of the spirit. They are actually watchers. Some of them are as big. Like angel Raphael. These are mangest angels that are huge angels. They are watchers. Now, what these angels did, and they have, funny, they have names. They 
they allowed themselves to be corrupted. They allowed themselves to become filthy. So they become lustful after women. They lusted after the human females. Malika hawa walipendezwa na wanawake duniani. Wakashuka, wakawaoa. When you hear something about husband wives and demon husbands, it started like so. Where um, humans, these are actually female, were actually raped by angels. They conceived and gave birth to men that were huge. They gave birth to Anakims. Wanaoke wakazao. Wanaome wakubwa mbegu za malaika. Angels are huge masculine beings. Wakazao na wanawake. Wanaoke ngini walibakwa. Because they forced themselves on women and that's how they became. Women started giving birth to Mayombeku. That's how unona kizazikili cha kuanza watu ni wakubwa wakubwa. That generation mungu haku pendezo na wawo. Kizazi hicho mungu haku kipenda. Mani kizazi ambacho kilizaliwa kinyume na mapenzi yake mungu. The book of Enoch rebukes, castigates, and criticizes the sin that was perpetuated by those angels. The book of Daniel, I mean the book of Enoch, reveals so much about those angels before they fell. About those angels before they are seen, before they are seen, will have impact. That there were angels who actually escaped. They did not just um, leave their place of ministry once. Nisawa na wanafuzi ambao, walikuwa na hepa shule, kwenda boarding school kuingine, ulala na waschan. Now those of us who went to boys' schools and some went to girls' schools, there are things you must tell your parents. There are things you must tell people now that sisi shule yetu, tulikuwa tuna hepa. Boys' school tuna hepa, tunda girls' school. Na tunapanga na washman. Tunavamia kule. Tunafanya kushika wasichana. Alafu pole pole tunapotea tina tunarudi maskani. There are schools that did so. Now the exact thing is what people are reading in the book of Enoch. Angels who will sneak out and enter into the human territory and camouflage and sleeps with the, with the women. Then women will get pregnant. And they did so, and God will warn them. They did so. They did so. God did not rob them of the power, neither did God rob them of authority during that time. Because they are not judged. And even now, those angels, they are bound in the dark pit. They are bound in chains awaiting judgment. Just like there were no judged at that time. Even right now they have not been judged. Because even Satan has not been judged as yet. But the damage is this. Their secrets and their glory, fallen glory, is captured in the book of Enoch. And Apostle Selman is perpetuating that doctrine because that's what he preaches. Satan loves anybody who twists the Bible and who touches things that displeases God. That's what Satan loves. That the moment a preacher takes a dimension that is disposed, disposed towards anything that God does not love, Satan will be attracted. 
That is the downfall of one Apostle Joshua Salman. Unfortunately, he's not falling alone. He has accepted to be corrupted with so much corruption. He is associating himself with elements that have also fallen. Fallen gospel. And he's doing so to keep himself relevant. To keep himself afloat. Kenyan preachers, some of them whom I respect, have allowed this apostle Salman on their altars. And today we have many Kenyans who have been imbibing the preachings of this man because their church leaders allowed him. So because our pastor accepted it, it's right. So let's listen to this man. Matokeo is that many people are being defiled. People are having strange dreams about angels. Strange visions about uh, angels. Having strange demonic visions. Why? Because of this bridge. We call it a spiritual bridge. Call it a bridge. Spiritual bridge. There is a spiritual mistake, spiritual bridge. You cannot tell unless you have the spirit of God. Awezi kujua makosa hayo hadi wewe huko kwamba umeelekezwa na roho wa Bwana. So how many have been corrupted by that? Apost uh, apostates Apostates ni walimu ambao wanafundisha mambo yaliyo kengeuka. Watumishi wa Mungu ambao hawana ufunuo, ambao hawezi pambanua, walikaribisha Joshua Selman hapa Kenya kwa madhabahu zao. The moment you open yourself up to the realm of the spirit on uh, illegality about fallen angels, you will receive visions, you receive revelations that are actually fronted by those angels. Not all visions come from God. Not all dreams come from God. Not all revelations come from God. Sio funuo zote zitoka kwa Mungu. Sio ndoto zote pia ni za Mungu. Wakati unafanya makosa even if you are a servant of God, the day you err and you do not repent because for him is not repentance. He has mastered himself in the book of in the book of uh, Enoch. You know what? It, 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 has no, it doesn't come dry. It has come with something. Remember, Apollo was fervent, but not with the Spirit, until the day he was filled with the Holy Ghost. You can still retain the experience, but the Spirit fire left you. And that's the deception and the lie that many Kenyans are falling in love with the Nigerian preachers. Whereas some of Nigerian preachers, some of them will be in Kenya, are standing right. But remember that in every market, there must be some madmen. In every fold, there must be a black sheep. We have, very, we have some rotten elements that Kenyans have fallen in love with. And they must step on they must step in Kenya. Apostle Selman is an apostate. Apostle Joshua Selman is an apostate. You know, apostates are them that have gone beyond repair. <laughs> apostates are hard to repent. They are not given to repentance. They'll stick to the wrong they know and purport 
to make it look like it's right. Apostates don't repent. They are unrepentant. Hawa ni watimishu wale ambao wame kengeuka. Na wamezungumuziwa na Paulo katika kitabu cha Watesa Lonike. Kwamba siku hizi za mwisho mjihadari sana. Maana kutakuwa na walimu wa ongo ambao kuna mkengeuko ukawaingia. Wataiacha ile kweli walioijua wakaanza kuzingatia na kukumbatia ha? mafundisho ambazo zimekengeuka now look that one that one you find it in the book of um, Thessalonians so let's check there very quickly i pray that none of you should also fall into this kind of traps asiwe yote katika tinyo ambaye akaangukia mitego kama hizi hmm? so jipate katika hizi mitego za mkengeuko za kuangukia eh, mambo kama haya so we have um, second thessalonians that talks about that and uh, if you have time study this book so so much but uh, just to pick for us the exact portion for today's uh, prophetic warnings is second Thessalonians chapter number 2 and um, we have this verses number 3 it says let no man deceive you by any means for that day shall not come except they have come a falling away fast and that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition then it says this way who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he, as God, sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Remember, ye, that, uh, uh, ye, note, that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. And now you know what the whole death, that he might be revealed in his time. For the mystery of the iniquity does already work, only he who now let it will let until he be taken out of the way. And, uh, and then shall that wicked uh, one be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy in the brightness of his coming. So tunatahadarishwa hapa kuhusu hali hiyo ya mkengeuko msari wa tatu. Ya zingumuzia hali ya mkengeuko. Hali hii Paulo akaizungumzia katika katika wa Timotheo wa kwanza na vile vile Timotheo wa pili. Timotheo waraka wa kwanza sura yake ni tatu. Uh, Timotheo waraka ni wa kwanza sura yake ni sura yake ni nne msari wa kwanza asema now The spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the truth, I mean from the faith, then they will give heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron, forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meats which God has created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth then look at also second timothy chapter 3 and verse number 1 this know also that in the last days perilous times perilous times shall come for men shall be lovers of their own selves covetous boasters proud blasphemers disobedient parents and thankful and holy without natural affection truth breakers false accusers incontinent fierce despisers of those that are good traitors a heady i minded lovers of pleasure more than lovers of god having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof from such the bible says turn ye away for of this sort are they which creep into houses 
and led captive silly women laden with seeds, led away with diverse lust, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Now, as Jambres and Janus withstood Moses, so do this also resist the truth. Men of corrupt minds, reprobate concerning the faith, but they shall proceed no further, for their folly shall be manifest unto all men as theirs also was. One is as few. Eh? Remember that one. Then Apostle Peter warns us, of, warns us also about this element. He writes in, in uh, First uh, Peter actually in uh, First Peter chapter 2. Then verse number, verse number uh, if you look at verse number 1 and also uh, Second Peter also chapter number 1. Both will be relevant for you to read. But let me pick one of them, Second Peter 2 verse number 1. But there were false prophets also among us the people. Even as there shall be false teachers among you who privilege shall bring in damnable heresies even denying the Lord that bought them and bring upon themselves swift destructions. And many shall follow their pernicious ways by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. The way of truth shall be evil spoken of. And through covetousness shall they with feigned words make merchandise of you whose judgments now of a long time lingereth not, and their damnation slumbereth not. For if God spared not the angels that sinned, such angels which sinned, God not spare them, but has cast them down to hell and delivered them into chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment. And spared not the old world, but saved Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that um, after should live ungodly. And delivered just Lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. For that righteous man dwelling among them, eh, in seeing and hearing, vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the ungodly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust hmm, unto the day of judgment to be punished. That confirms you, Maleka Wale Wagiza Male Wako. That confirms you, Walimu Waonga Bao Wako. And the Bible wants us, Maliki Natu Onya, Kusu Walimu Hawa, Mana Wamezungumuziwa Pia, Na Juda, in Jude. Kisha Wamezungumuziwa Pia. Na Paul Ambaya Anasema Hivi. Let me finish with uh, Apostle Paul, who tells us in Second Chronicle, I mean Corinthians. Chapter number 13, verse number 5. What does he say? Anasemaje Paulo hapa. Kwanzea msari watano. Examine yourselves whether you be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves. How that Jesus is in you. Except you be reprobate. But I trust that you shall know. That we are no reprobates. Hallelujah. Reprobates. Then he says, Now I pray to God that you do know you do no evil, not that we should appear approved, but that you should do that which is honest, though we be as reprobates. For we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. Paula metuambia to jipim. Anatomia kusu walimu wa ongo. Katuonya kusu wali muhawa. Watimishu wa mungu sasa kenyo walianza vizuri. Wanameza vibaya. 
wameichukua ukweli iliyohubiriwa ama ukweli ule waliohubiri wanaenyima makali wanakubali yanguke wanasawazisha neno la Mungu katika hali ambayo itawafaa wenyewe na shetani uingilianga hapo sana akishaingia shetani yetajionyesha kwamba ako pale he creeps in through such a crack and satan won't show that is there it takes a child of god a servant of god who can operate in the holy ghost in very higher frequencies to depict and to design that something is not right here apostle selman is fallen unfortunately wahubiri kenya wakubwa you invited this man on your altars god will judge you because you have the spirit and you slumbered wakafanya wakristo wanakulanga siku hizi vyakula vya vyakula vya malaika walianguka god has given us and has allowed us to interact with the 66 books of the bible 66 books 27 of them are in one book 33 of them in another book in the new testament i mean uh, in the old testament vitabu ni 66 ishina saba katika agano jipya na tatu katika agano la kale. Na Wakristo hata mjamaliza, wengine wenye mjasoma kitabu hiki mmalize. And you have the comfort of searching in the social media the book of Enoch that does not fall in the 66 books that are inspired Maccabees the same Suriat the same Solomon the same Catholicism has banned this this book and they are revising their own bible they have added to themselves some more books of the bible six of them i don't know there are five or six they have added in their bible unless god they not give us proper instructions unless god errors if jehovah god revised his instructions about this bible i am not aware If God ever allowed an extra book on top of 66 books that he must read it I'm not aware I'm not aware But Christians are gullible Many Christians are average and they are just average in their thinking You are so gullible munadanganywa that you live the bible that has 66 books then you concentrate yourself on another bible that god did not allow us to read it now to prove that god never wanted us to interact with the uh, with the, um, the book of enoch he ensured that the flood destroyed it to make sure that there is no evidence that there is no evidence about the angels that were fallen so that we don't interact with them if god wanted us to interact with the book of enoch it will be the 67th book if he wanted if god intended his holy ghost would have told me today my son can you go and get yourself the book of enoch now he has not told me so I speak from the Lord. I am filled of the Holy Ghost. I am an anointed servant of God. My head is sober. I am an a teacher, proper teacher of the word of God. Christian stop reading the book of Enoch. Kwa kisa wacheni kusoma kitabu cha Enoch. Inafulia siri nyingi za ulimwengu 
wa kishetani kuhusu malaika ambao waliasi God never intended that we learn anything from fallen angels Paul wants us in Colossians chapter 2 verse number 16 about fallen angels Bwana anatuonya kuhusu malaika hao walianguka katika wa Kolosai sura ni mbili kuanzia mstari wa mstari wa kumi na tano. Bwana anatuonya kuhusu hapo And then this is what it says. Verse number 50, verse, verse number 16. Let no man therefore judge you in meat and in drink or in respect of an holy day or of the new moon or of the sabbath days which are a shadow of things to come but the body is of Christ 18 let no man beguile you of your reward in a voluntary humility and worshiping of angels intruding into those things which he has not seen vainly puffed up by his fleshly mind and not holding the head from which all the body by joints and hands having nourishment ministered and knit together increaseth with the increase of God Kiswahili tafsiri yake itawasomeni hivi wa Kolosai Sura ni mbili kuanzia mstari wake Uh, 16 kwa uwezo bwana someone the lord deliver you by this in jesus name someone the lord deliver your eyes may his light be shed into your mind so that you may capture the truth in jesus name basi hadi kasema msara wa 16 basi mtu asiwahukumu ninyi katika vyakula au vinywaji au kwa sababu ya siku kuu au mwandamo wa mwezi au sabato I've taught those ones 17 Mambo hayo ni kivuli cha mambo yajayo bali mwili ni wa Kristo na mtu asiwadanganyeni eh na mtu asiwanyanga asiwanyanganye dhawabu yenu kwa kunyenyekea kwa mapenzi yake mwenyewe eh tu na kuabudu malaika akajitia katika maono yake na kujivuna bure kwa akili zake za kimwili wala hakishiki kichwa ambacho kwa yeye mwili wote ukiruzikiwa na kuungamanishwa kwa viungo na mishipa kukua kwa maongeo yatakayo yatokayo kwa Mungu nishini yasema ishirini hatuna haja na ishirini. hatuna haja na sehemu ya ishirini. but this is what you must know vile marika tuambia kwamba tusiabudu malaika tusiingilie mambo ambazo haifai si kuingilia you cross boundaries god intended to destroy the evidence about fallen angels because god never wanted us to interact with them because kama kitabu kile kizazi kile kiliharibika na malaika wale god in his love will not have wanted again we be like that generation that were corrupted by angels that were fallen so god destroyed plus the evidence but then there has been an nothing of such that are now being paraded about them that book is not fit for a child of god who is disposed disposed to make heaven na aturuhusiwi kufundisha biblia imesema paulo anasema anasema tusifundishane mambo hayo ya malaika wale anguka because inafanya tuwe na kiburi apostle selman is teaching you those things na tuna mafundisha watu wengi ambao pia kenya kuna hobira ambao wanatumia kitabu cha inoko There's an archbishop in the Republic of Kenya today. 
ambaye pia anaambia watu wasome kitabu cha Enoko. So it's no wonder yeye na Selman wanaelewana. If you are pastor, if you are bishop indulge you in a, in a fallen theology. Wewe na yeye mtazama motoni. There is need to be repentance and that's why fasting and preaching I mean that's why reading the bible is important for you to get rid of such stuff. Sasa unapata matokeo ni nini? Matokeo ni kwamba tuna wakristo wengi ambao wameokoka, Yesu Kristo ni bwana, wana Biblia, alafu wanalala na mashetani. Wakiamka asubuhi pia Yesu hata hiyo pia umenisafisha nimetubu. Ifika jioni tena bwana yake malaika wa giza na kuja nalala na yeye. Na imekuwa ni nomo. Why? Demons get access into your life because you are gadget the phone. You are a subscriber to the teachings of Joshua Selma. You listen to them ukitembea. You listen to them ukilala. Mashetani wanasema mali tumekubaliwa tunaingia. Watalala na wewe. And that's why we have um, we have a generation of uh, sisters in Christ. Kwa mavazi ni watakatifu, wakilala ni mashetani. In case Jesus rapture the church, mutabaki. Because there is something that qualifies demons to sleep with you. Teachings about fallen angels. There is no way you can interact with something devilish and a demon does not appear. There is no way you can interact with something that is satanic and Satan does not appear. If you interact with the things of God, God shall appear. Read the Bible, 66 books of it. And ridhika nayo tena rudia. Tear from your pages and remove from your house and delete from your phone anything about the book of Enoch. Enoch is in the heaven. He's not a devil. He's not a demon. But the warning that he wrote was not meant for us. It was meant for those in that generation. Kama kichwa kushiki hii, please, ata mimi nimeshindua. Kama yao, kama utashika hii, then wewe ni mgumu sana. Wewe sawa na shetani. So you know, put on an ambia. Hey, Apostle, I read about, uh, about some angels and this angel, the book of uh, Enoch. In fact, he could not in numbers. I want to send you quotation. <laughs> and indeed, they sent me quotations. I said, who is your teacher? Where did you go to Sunday school? Who is your pastor? Who taught you this stuff? Actually, I told Joshua Selman and Leona. And as I say, kuna watu mbao, kama unataka kula na Joshua Selmana, please fuata yeye. Tutakutana binguni. We see who was God and who was not. Kini wa Kristo. You are defeated even you know finish this Bible. And you are missing some part of it. Then I'm there, I've read about, about, about Enoch. I'm reading about angels. Kichwa kwa nimbaya. And no wonder, wakusa mbao anasoma Biblia, na unatafsiri na mbini na unatafsiri Biblia na akili za kishetani. Wanasoma Biblia, wanatafsiri. No wanda kanisa la Yesu imejaa wanawake ambao hawaoleki, lakini mpango wa kando wa mashetani. Hawaoleki lakini mpango wa kando wa watu. Mpango wa kando wa shetani means kwamba eh umeoleka na mwanaume lakini pia mashetani wanakumiliki. Mwanamke una service wanaume wawili. If you have a husband, why should you sleep with demons? Mlango lifungua mahubiri mahubiri za apostle selman he may sound right in other preachings and teachings but if the same pot carries apostasy if the same pot carries corrupted messages then everything about him also is corrupt you cannot have another pot carries something and then another pot me i carry one pot the gospel as pure of the lord jesus christ Even the vile watumishi wa Kenya wana wanachangia wa Kristo kuanguka motoni. You are big archbishops. You are big prophets. You are big apostles. Wamechangia altars and makanisa mbazo apostle Selman aliingia. You must repent and apologize. Na you are in fact you must go public in your apology. That's no matter how big you are. You must. 
The Holy Ghost has never spoken to me in another book. The Holy Ghost has spoken to me only in this one book, not Quran. I have warned you about now ndio wabira ambao wameletwa Kenya. Wanakuja kuroga watu. God is my witness from today. Baba naomba kwamba ufunuo kuhusu mambo haya nimeyaongea ifunguke juu ya anga ya Kenya. Na ifunguke juu ya anga ya dunia the same thing the same way I talked I, I said about TB Joshua Number two, Apostle Selman has interacted with TB Joshua Any prophet any apostle that has had interaction with this this man called TB Joshua they are not in a suspect avoid them Mtumishi yote ambaye ametangamana na mafuta ya TB Joshua Mafuta yao ni gushi. Hawana usafi. Some time back in my in my years of formative as a prophet I think I had a tape about uh, Archbishop Duncan Williams. And someone gave me Well, yes, pass okay. I, I I listened to it some time maybe once of those years and I forgot. But later as God will have it. Something cropped up about Duncan Williams. Once a man of God has div- has divorced his wife, we don't marry. We don't marry. You stay like that until Jesus comes or until uh, whom you divorce dies and then you confirm I'm a kufa. Then you can now look for a wife and marry. But the theology of Duncan Williams is wanting. Is wanting because he is violated the terms and conditions of the of this Bible. He may be a, he may be he, he, he may be a fervent preacher he may be really motivational but don't be moved with motivational be check the spirit align yourself with the word of god if those be your fathers in faith you're in trouble if those be the fathers of faith that you want to follow you are in trouble i can guess utamalizia wapi jiwezi fuata mtu bila mafuta yake ile mafuta alionayo uta divorce na kuoa uta divorce na kuoa na wana mabishop wetu wengi wana maana wake wamefika kando kando and you find that the association of selmana and uh, duncan williams renders him a reject in the things of god people ask me about uh, Sule, Sule, joshua suleiman apostle suleiman simple i've told you that uh, tb joshua is the grandfather of witchcraft in africa if he's not the father then he's the grandfather People say, hey, my spiritual father, spiritual father, Apostle Suleiman. Let them denounce publicly and repent and will be convinced because everybody and anybody that interacted with T.B. Joshua, and that includes one uh, prophet, um, uh, he and love who is in between he's been is 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 in between he's eating both sides plus with kakande and then these are the rejects that are, are imported into our nation to pray 
Watu nyo uchafu kama hao ndo naetu hapa Kenya. <laughs> Wali waroga lakini no one knew them. I'll expose them. All of them as the Lord allows me. And that's why I say, how achawi wakai kwa inchi zao. We have business to do in the Republic of Kenya. Wakai kwa inchi zao. Rogeni inchi enyu. Rogeni inchi zao. Kakanda meroga Uganda mpaka munga melalamika. God is complaining about Uganda. And God is going to judge Uganda. Because the witchcraft ambayo meenea Uganda saa hii. Mpaka munga melalamika. God gave a word about Uganda. God has given a word about Tanzania. Bai mejama nabi wa kora wa janya mbao ni wengi kama njugu. And that's why I don't trust Rolinga. Because Rolinga ni kefaranga ya Tibi Joshua. Vila umezaliwa na paka Ezeke lapa Kenya. Awa wote ni faranga ngambo hiyo. So kwa watu wengine, Tibi Joshua ni grandfather wawo. Ni babu. Kwa wengine, Tibi Joshua ni baba yao. So look at now Selmana. Unampata in the mix. Does he have a pure identity? I doubt. Someone tell him this word. If he wants to make heaven, he repents publicly about the book of no, uh, the book of Enoch. And they should say if God commanded him. How can God command one man to teach on the book of Enoch and the same God gives us all of us blackout? If he wants us to teach it. Does God have monopoly of visions and revelations? God does not. God has not assigned some people in some corner to have some revelations and have monopoly of those revelations. Even me, I don't have monopoly of any revelation. I don't have. Ati revelation ni pata ni yangu tufuno ni mimi tu. I have been taken to heaven severally and today God has taken people in their hundreds on this altar to heaven. So I don't have monopoly of visions. How can the book of Enoch be, be subject to certain people in certain corner? Satan. God revised. Here on the earth, God has raised people who are sober-headed like one of Nyango Makochia. If I preach to you now, you will be by your own choice. If you, make, if you don't make a heaven, you will just be by your own choice. And that's when I was able to get to the Lord, I was able to get to the Lord. When I was able to get to the Lord, I was able to get to the Lord. Now, I was able to get to the Lord. 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 They are, they, are, they are actually going heights than Kenya now. Na yao wanafanya adharani. Grandfather wow, T.B. Joshua. Now these prophets love Kenya. They come to Kenya. Kama wanaroga mahala zimu wakanyage Kenya mana huku wana wakona mawakala wow. Kama wana wateja. I caution you Kenyans and pastors of, in Kenya and servants of God in Kenya. And the teachers of the God's word in Kenya, Chungeni San, do not interact with the preachings of Joshua Selman. God of glory, I have told these people the truth. And Lord, if they heed your word, by this instruction, may it be well with them. If anyone shall perish, it will not be because of me. I wash my hands and I settle my case. In Jesus' name I do so.